Welcome back for the third video. In this one I'll be talking about how we can select specific items within a data tree. So as you remember we just left off here and this is the branch selection that we had and we put some spheres on it. So what we can do here is we can just preview them off for now um, and then we can group them as well. So what are like as we say, like data tree, and then we have branches. And underneath branches and paths, like branches are selected by the paths, we have these values. These values are the indices of each point that we have. So basically, the first point of the first surface is stored under first branch, first indices, and zero zero something something on their z coordinate okay something here i assume all right so this is what we call the indice and this is basically the location of that particular in this case point but it can be anything name number anything geometry and it's basically location on that particular list but how we do select those? But before we like, how we do select them? So in that case, we need to be selecting them. But before we jump into that, I want to show you something and maybe an old friend, if you were watching the videos, this channel, you might already have seen this. Uh, we can do that. We can do a sum to create sort of an assistant to us. So vector and a point list. I grab a point list if we increase the size by 50 maybe 500 I don't know you see we are seeing something quite similar on what we are uh, seeing here but it's a bit different but it can be quite similar you see these are the values that are stored under the list so point zero in branch zero branch zero is this one and in each branch they are these are the indices as you can see here indices of the points and what we want to do from this point on if you want to proceed with this maybe what i can do is i can take the surfaces and maybe change the color of them a bit make them a bit transparent so that we can see yeah so, yeah this is this looks a bit better and maybe just putting aside so how we can select these points right how we can select these points if you want to do so so again i go to the set three and this time i'll select three item you see in this three item component what we have more than three branch we have three input as we have and then we have the path the path is going to be the same thing that we want to have so that we i can just copy this and paste it right so i'll be using the same path organization and in the path in the item or the index is already put to zero meaning i am always already selecting this point right but why don't we put a sphere, maybe a white sphere. Um, so on and so forth. And obviously I just connect color to a um, radius. So maybe I will decrease the radius to 25 here. Okay. So now what we see here is we basically we basically select the first point because its index is zero. First point, maybe I can group this as well. First point of the second surface is second branch. And if I change this to zero to I can make it three for now. You see, when I change this, I can select this point. So for instance, on this surface, 
I just wanted to create a line that goes to Z direction and with a length of 500. You see, it always, let me put these guys a bit here. Group this, let me make this a bit clean. Okay. Sorry for this. And then group them all. Change the color of this group to white. Yeah. So that is pretty much uh, what I wanted to do do with my points and point lists. You see, everything that I can select by using this component, three item, I can select my three, then put my path. Path, again, is this guy here, name of that branch. And within that branch, I want to select the second item, the first item or the zero item zero, and because this is the name as an index. When I change this, you know it changes as well but if i want to switch back to this surface what i need to do i need to select that surface and then i need to select the branch and then i need to select the index okay and then the next thing that i can do here copy this and paste item and index and maybe make this smaller so uh well basically this is what we are uh what we are going to use in our next exercises but within those next exercises we are trying to be creating something a bit more like a practical so we'll try to switch back to uh, here so we are going to oops not this one sorry will be try to create sort of a, like a roof systems on top of these surfaces and we'll try to explain the concepts of maybe like the like a list item uh sorry not the list item we will be talking about like flatten graft simplify and all those kind of things in those videos so stay tuned <laughs>